Hi guys! Did you ever think about closing your P1P 3D printer so you could be able to print with more filament types? Today we will check the enclosure solution from Wham Bam. Want to know more? Then stay tuned! Hi guys, welcome back! My name is Rui and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. So, today we have the enclosure solution for the Bamboo Lab P1P 3D printer from Wham Bam. This enclosure can be found on the Wham Bam's website and it's currently being sold at 94 US dollars. This one was specially designed for the P1P and has several features such as providing stable interior temperature, fume and odor control, helps reducing the machine noise, provides easy access to the printer and others. The enclosure comes packed inside a tall but thin cardboard box. Inside, we have the enclosure completely folded. On one of the panels, there's a small thermometer. The enclosure is made from three different materials. The outer black material is flame retardant ballistic nylon 600D. In the middle is a structure honeycomb polymer panel. And in the inner side, is a metal lining that reflects and helps to maintain a stable temperature inside the cabinet. The thermometer does not come with batteries, so we need to get a couple of LR44 button shaped batteries. The assembly and installation is super easy. You basically need to pull and close the two zippers located on the sides and that's it. You have the enclosure ready. On one of the sides, there are a few pouches that can secure tools and such. At the bottom is an opening for fumes extraction. At the back, there are a few openings. One of them is for the cabinet fan if you upgrade your printer with one. Then there's another for power cord and on and off switch, PTFE tube, external spool holder and buffer for the AMS. And at the other side, is the thermometer and the small velcro strip that can be used to hold the front door if we want to keep it always open. The front door is big and it's closed by magnets. There's a small velcro strip that is used to secure the door to the side panel. To install it on the printer, we simply open the zippers halfway and lay the enclosure on top of the printer. Carefully pass the opening through the display and close the zippers all the way. The display opening is the only thing that didn't sit right because of the finish of the edges. And done, there's not much to it. At the top, there's a small axis for the memory card. Since our printer comes with the PTFE tube connected to the fitting, which is attached to the printer, we need to remove it and pass it through this opening. However, we had to print a couple of pieces to secure the PTFE tube in place, otherwise the printer would pull it inside while printing. These pieces also help to maintain the PTFE tube and the cable up and away from the back of the print head. For the AMS and buffer installation, there's already a couple of parts that we can download and print for it. One of the pieces is installed here at the back and secured by a couple of screws. The second one is attached to the buffer. Then we only need to slide down the piece with the buffer like this. We also had to make a small piece to extend the external spool holder since the thickness of the enclosure 
would make the spool rub while turning. As for the installation of the AMS unit, the top of the cover is strong enough to hold the unit on the top without any issues. And since we had a fume extractor from a laser engraver laying around, we decided to design a few parts so we could attach the hose from the extractor to the enclosure. All the parts that we design are available on our cults page, so feel free to download. You can check the links below in the video description. Inside the enclosure, there is a round velcro attached. This is to secure a cloud unit. We made a video about this some time ago, so if you want to know more about this, check the link for the video in the description. Since the fire extinguish unit is activated by flames, we think that it should be installed at a higher position. However, there is not enough room available to install it somewhere else. Nevertheless, it's a nice thing to have inside. There's also a link for the filament purge bucket that is secured on the enclosure. For the first prints, you need to make sure that the cable and tube don't fall down and block the movement of the print head at the far right side. Printing ABS and ASA without an enclosure can be challenging because it might warp easily. So we loaded some ABS and started a print. With the bed at 90 degrees C, we were able to maintain a stable temperature inside. However, we did see a difference between the temperature reader from the enclosure and the one we have inside the printer. The enclosure read 31.1 degrees C, while the one inside the printer read 47.8 degrees C. This difference might be because the reader from the enclosure is at the lower position. It's actually far from the printing area and at this point below the heat bed. It would be better if the reader from the enclosure was installed at a higher position. We also noticed a significant noise reduction with this enclosure on. The difference with and without the front door open is very noticeable. As for the results, the print tests with ABS and ASA showed that we did not have any issues on the parts and also no warpage was detected. Warpage is something that can happen very easily when printing with these materials and we didn't see it during our tests. Ok, and here are the pros and cons. For the positive side we have the price. It's much cheaper than the official kit from Bamboo Lab. The installation is super fast and easy. The enclosure is made with good materials. It's a good protection from dust. It's able to maintain a stable temperature inside and that allows us to use more filament types. It includes a thermometer to monitor the internal temperature. It reduces the printer's noise, allows fume and odor control, provides easy access to the interior of the printer. It has a big and clear front panel which can be easily opened as well. It has pouches to hold tools and such at the right side panel. It has several openings on the back panel. It can take a cloud unit from Wambam inside and it's compatible with the AMS unit. And for the negative side we have the cover for the fume extraction opening could be a little bit bigger. The size it has now gets too close to the opening which makes it difficult to add the accessories for the exhaust tubes. The temperature sensor location which in our opinion should be a little bit higher. The PTFE tube and print head cable needs to be monitored at least for the first prints to make sure they don't jam the print head on the back right side. And that is all. What do you guys think of this enclosure? Feel free to leave your comments below. And thanks for watching. We will see you guys next time. Bye.